Rising defense, folks, is just playing at a level that we've seen in 1988, 86, 85, and 83 when they won the whole thing. Sindorn, withstanding the pressure, gets the pass away. It is complete. Down the ghetto, inside the 30, inside the 25. Well, we brought up the fact that we thought the Sioux defense was starting to tire a little bit. And right there, Gettle, the tight end, sneaks behind the defensive back on that side, the corner. And I'll tell you, Simdorn, he threw a duck earlier today, but that one's picture perfect right on the money. And O'Gorman had no chance. There's a mismatch as far as height. Scott Winter has to get his long locks cut. The pass complete to Craig Guerin. And he's sandwiched at the 21. Mark Schmaltz and Jeff Feltheim on the stop. Guerin. Well, there's nothing fancy about this. You come down the line of scrimmage, and you look for the seam. There's no, no difference between that pass and what Kovacs tries to do in their offense. Third and four at the 22. C and Hansen behind Sindor. Simdorn has some room. He cuts it outside, trying to get out, and he's forced out of bounds at the 11 or 12-yard line. Dana, we've seen Simdorn do this so many times. He gets stronger as the game goes on. And here we see Simdorn down the line again. They get a great block on Middlestat there. And the defensive secondary just didn't get over fast enough. But Simdorn just hits and spins, and he's a lot stronger than you think he is. Down to 113 now, first and 10 from the 11. The Bison already leading 28 to nothing. Simdorn cuts it in, and he runs smack dab into Feltheim and Mark Schmaltz, the brother of Mike. Down to about the seventh. You know, we got one minute remaining in the third quarter, and it's 28 to nothing. And I'll tell you, the Sioux, they've got to avoid the blowout here if they're going to be in the postseason. they got to dig deep down inside and suck it up and get some pride and get back in this thing. You know, and this is a hard thing to do. They haven't had any offense to speak of in the second half, and again, their defense is backed up into the hole. The Sioux in danger of being shut out by the Bison for the second straight year. Here's Simdorn. Magnetized by about five Sioux, I tell but you, he's I, inside the five. Simdorn, he is tough. I, I mean, he, he could have stretched that play out further, and he cut it up on the hash mark and said, I don't care, I'll take all you guys on. You know, they don't make him much tougher than that kid. I've seen him line up at 30% and win. That is the end of the third quarter. The Bison, 15 minutes away from a perfect regular season. It's 28 to nothing. Fourth quarter is coming up. Look at the day Simdorn is having, and look at the tough day UND is having. Let's go down to Dana Mock. We talked about Chris Simdorn. I'll tell you, it's some great memories for some Bison players, but there is a bitter memory from one of them. It is former linebacker Brian Magruder. It was two years ago, 1988, on this field. He was an up-and-coming star in that Bison defense, tore his Achilles tendon. His career ended on this turf two years ago. That's right. One of the few dark spots for the Bison on this field in their last two games. Here's the pitch to Satter in for the touchdown. Satter from three yards away, his second TD of the day. Tony Satter, one of the all-time greats out of this conference and out of Division II. There you see Rocky. He doesn't want to pour it on, but the Sioux offense isn't doing anything. That's a great block on the outside by Marty C.